Peace family, how y'all doing? Is in the guys in the wave? I don't know how long I was meditating. Like I just did an hour session, but it feels like whatever dark place I was, I was there for four years. Cause when I woke up, I was like, why am I so high and blissful? And where the fuck am I? Where am I? Alright, so we still on my dossier. Uh dark magic. No. What the shit? What the, what, the, what the fuck was I talking about? Astro Realm and Disney Magic. There we go. We're still on my dossier. Astro Realm and Disney Magic. All right. Uh, but for today, the subtopic is waves and inertia. It's, it's going to be a bit more mainstream and a bit more fantasy. So it's not going to be based in actual reality. It's not going to be talking about government corporations. And I'm not going to be talking about external events i'm gonna be talking about us and only our reality and to get started i'm speaking about waves and inertia waves of yin and inertia and how to get started all right first of all the yin moves in waves because it's a water element that means it moves in tides therefore the energy is more malleable and the energy is more you know, changeable. You can easily move it from here or you can move it from there. You can move it from here. All right. So sometimes when you want to kickstart, go to the yin realm, you got to meditate deep. Right now, I am on a tolerance break for marijuana. I'm building my spaceship so that next time I smoke marijuana, I'm going to blast off straight to Kaylin and I'm going to get Kaylin. All right. So what are the waves? Have you ever just been sitting down in your car riding and you get hit with nostalgia or you get hit with a strong sense of deja vu or you get this blissful feeling? Get that feeling. Once you get that feeling, right? Hold on to that feeling. Figure out what's the source. If the source is childhood happiness, if the source is your, your school as a kid. You go back to that source when you meditate and you see how much blissful energy you could pull from those emotions. See how much blissful energy you could pull from what you wanted as a child, what you never got as a kid. Now, once you recreate the perfect heaven for you as a kid with your dream girl and everything you want, stay on that wave because you are now on the wave of the yin. So now you got an idea of the fantasy you want. Now you're getting the blissfulness from the fantasy. So what do you do? You get on that wave with your surf board and you remain stable don't dip into the wave don't be too in the fantasy but don't run from the fantasy get on that surfboard and literally start steering and start moving where you want to go as you're on the wave we're wavers we move on yin yin is water malleable energy so we're wavers we are wavers now what is the inertia the inertia is when you start riding the wave, you realize it starts to get stronger. You realize it starts to get stronger. Then it starts getting stronger. Then you start picking up deep imagination. Then you start thinking even harder. Then you start going to the source of your childhood. Then the wave gets huge. Now you just steamrolling off fantasy. Now you just steamrolling off of bliss. Now you're steamrolling off of what you want. But how do you get this? Let me retwist this. Sometimes you're going to have to leave drugs alone. All right. Because what drugs does is like marijuana. It, it's like it's a motorized surfboard. When you're smoking marijuana, it's like you gave your surfboard an engine. So, vroom, vroom, you know, it's running for you. You're on the wave. It's running for you. It's running for you. You're in the imagination room. You're on drugs. That's an automatic surfboard. But when you're sober... Now you got to meditate and now you actually got to start building your surfboard. Now you actually got to start preparing. Now you actually got to start jumping into water sober to see how it operates. And how do you do that? Go into deep meditation sessions completely sober. And when you find the blissfulness, now you're in the waters of the yin. But the thing about it, when you're sober, you have no band-aid and it's easier for you to catch a wave. Now that you're sober, nothing is blocking your heart. There's no band-aid. You have to literally deal with emotions and things with your own sober tools you have. So marijuana is like protein shakes. 
You know, you still need the meditation to get buff. But when you're sober, it's like you take the protein shake away. It's like you take the you take the pills away, and now you gotta do it raw and hard and by yourself. Like some niggas would say, you gotta do it the old school way. You gotta do it the old school way. But once you start training your mind and training your body to hop in the yin and surf without drugs, the next time you get high off your tolerance break, my nigga, you will be fucking wavy. You will be wavy. Wavy. All right? So, I start like this. Everybody stop smoking. Stop taking drugs. Give yourself a two and a half week tolerance break. The next time you get high, set intention. I guarantee you my bottom dollar, you will blast off to Venus like goddamn is we supposed to be this powerful. My nigga, you will be so fucking high. That you don't even know what to fucking do in the yin. So, during the two-week break, we're training ourselves. So, when we get on the spaceship, we'll know how to maneuver and how to use our high. A lot of us get high and don't use the high. It's like y'all just drinking protein shakes. You're getting fat for nothing. You ain't burning nothing. You ain't making no spiritual gains. You're just getting high to feel good. You're not getting high with the purpose of the drug. The drug is supposed to throw your ass in the yin to help you build your imagination. Why do you think when you smoke weed, you, you, you make art easier? Because you're in the yin. You're in the darkness. The marijuana brought you to the creativity, the infinite possibilities. So it's going to be a lot easier for you to maneuver. Right now, I'm sober. So I'm venting true emotions. I'm trying to keep it mainstream. I'm trying not to talk about bloody murder. Oh, I'm trying not to talk about a bloody murder. I'm trying to not to talk about killing everybody. I want to kill everybody. Oh, I want to kill everybody. I'm sorry. It's a Tuesday. I'm ah, I get it off me. Calm down, Zen. I'm trying my best. To not preach about killing people and killing the government. Don't kill the government. Don't go shooting people. Don't protest. Focus on your spirituality. Oh, not to! Oh, to... All right. So, just go on your tolerance break two to three weeks. Meditate. Try to get into the realm. Try to get into the yin realm without drugs. Try to maneuver through the possibilities of infinite creation without drugs. So the next time you get drugs, oh my fucking gosh, you will be on the moon. You will be sitting in space just like, who am I? What is my name? Who am I? And that is where the new creation begins. You ever got that euphoria feeling when you first got high and you got all them insights? Yeah, leave weed alone for two to three weeks. I guarantee you it'll be like you're a new stoner. You'll be a new smoker. It'll be like marijuana will be so powerful. It's like you're going to get reintroduced to sex. It's like you didn't have sex for four weeks and you just came out of jail and you dipped your little thing into some yoni. <sighs> Woo! You know that's going to feel good. That's how it's like with marijuana. All right? So, peace, family. Zen guys in a way. Just updating y'all. Trying to keep it mainstream. I'm trying not to be a bloody revolutionary. <laughs> oh, I wanna fucking fuck somebody, bitch, bitch. Have a nice day. I'm sorry, I'm young Aries. It's a Tuesday. I'm wearing red. Bitch, bitch, bitch. Mm. Bitch, bitch, bitch. I'm sorry. I'm sober, so there's too much energy. Have a nice day.